Welcome back in to Live in the Bay. Now, delight in the bizarre beauty of bugs. Yes, bugs have beauty too. See the world from their perspective and learn how they evolved their unique adaptations and behaviors in an all new exhibition now open at the California Academy of Sciences. Joining us now from the Academy is senior exhibit content developer, Paige Laduzinski. Paige, thank you so much for joining us on Live in the Bay. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we're so excited to talk about bugs, right? Now, when people hear bugs, they're probably thinking, who knows, flies, ants, whatever the average thing is on the ground. But this new exhibit that is at the Academy, tell us a little, about, a little bit about it and what can, what can people expect? Because this is very interesting. Sure, well, I love bugs and we're really <laughs> hoping all of our visitors do too. Yes. This is a new exhibit that just opened and it, like you said, it showcases the bizarre, beautiful, wonderful aspects of what makes bugs, insects, arachnids, like spiders and scorpions, mm -hmm. millipedes, um, just what makes them so unusual, um, so important in the ecosystem and it really gives you a to get up close and personal with these pretty amazing creatures. Now, what does it feel like? I don't want to give everything away because we want we want people to go see it. But what can people expect that it feels like when you're in the exhibit? Well, one of the great things about this exhibit is that it's very immersive and very visually stunning. So you come inside and there are huge, enormous, larger than life models of species like an orchid mantis, Japanese honeybees in a giant hive, a um, wow. dragonfly that. Uh, you get to see in flight. So it's a really very visually stunning, very cool way to experience these tiny creatures. Now, how did an exhibit like this come to be? Because when I think about such an incredible exhibit, a lot of time probably came into planning this. Yes. So how did this come to be? Exhibits do take uh, multiple years yes. in the making. This was a really great partnership with the Museum of Te Papa New Zealand. Uh, that's one of the California Academy of Sciences um, trusted exhibit partners. And they also worked with Weta Workshop which is the creative genius behind The Lord of the Rings and many other Ooh. film studio sets in New Zealand. So hence the visual appeal. Um, so we worked with Museum of Te Papa and Weta to bring the Bugs exhibit to the California Academy of Sciences. First time in the Bay Area, um, give the opportunity for people to come visit it here. Uh, but it also really complements our institution, our research mm. with bugs and insects, our mission to regenerate the natural world. And we want to bring awareness to um, the role of bugs in the ecosystem and how important they are in the web of life. Well, how does the Academy go about deciding which exhibitions to bring out to the public for people to come join in on? That's a great question. We both produce exhibitions in-house, um, so that's one of my primary roles, working with a really amazing exhibit team, content, design, um, thinking of how we can showcase our collections. But we also do sometimes bring in these outside traveling exhibitions, like working with a great partner like Te Papa. Which sounds like, so far, that it's going to be a really big hit. <laughs> so we've had great attendance so far. We're hoping lots of people will come this summer to come mm -hmm. see it, um, come beat the heat, even today in a day yes. like San Francisco. We're a great place to come see a fun experience and also get to check out the other great things we have happening at the Academy. And how long will it be at the Academy? How so long can people expect it? It's running through January of 2023, so Ooh. you have some time. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely make sure you get a chance to come see it before it closes. Okay, now... Now I want to ask you, what can what can kids learn from the bug experience? Because, I mean, I could learn a lot too. I'm an adult, and all of us adults out here can also learn. But especially for the kids, because a lot of people are going to be bringing families and children along. Definitely. Well, one thing that's really great about this exhibit, it's very hands-on and very interactive. Because people learn, you know, kids have different learning styles, so it's very visual. But there's also tactile, hands-on opportunities. There's media. Um, so that's a really great way to participate. And that's some of the in different pictures ways. right there. Yeah. Yes, um, so you can get a sense of some of the things <laughs> you'll see. Um, but what we're really trying to get across is really how important bugs are. They're often mm -hmm. very misunderstood creatures. I think people are often really scared of bugs or don't understand them. So we're hoping that kids and families will come and appreciate um, just how amazing adaptations have developed over really millions of years of evolution. How can dragonflies fly? Um, how does an orchid mantis create such beautiful camouflage to be able to hunt their prey? How do honeybees work together um, in their hive? So just a little taste of some of the things that that kids can learn in the show. That's so that's so amazing. And Paige, I, I know you just mentioned we want people to learn, you know, a little bit more about bugs and not to be afraid, certain things we want them to know, but what else do you hope that people take away from this experience? 
Well, I think that one great thing to take away is just the importance of bugs in mm. the bigger ecosystem. Um, if you take people away from the planet, the world's going to rebound pretty quickly. You take bugs away, it's probably going to completely collapse. Oh, so I think we think about these things as so small and insignificant, mm -hmm. but they play such a huge role in the web of life. And they're so important for other species, for humans. And so give bugs a chance because they're actually pretty amazing. <laughs> Well, we have to give them a chance, but also, what are other ways we can help as humans? I, I mean, I, I know the, bu the bugs are the biggest part, but how can we help them? Is it just, just understanding? That's a really great question, and that's actually our primary mission at the California Academy of Sciences, is how we can think about regenerating the natural world. We do that through science, learning, and community partnerships. So working with local communities, um, providing informal learning opportunities. We have field trips where kids can come visit the academy in person. So it's about partnerships, it's about learning, it's about raising awareness, and Bugs is just one of the many exhibits that we hope to do that with San Francisco, the Bay, and beyond. Ah, incredible. Well, thank you so much, Paige, for joining us on Live in the Bay. Thank you. We hope that you guys all join. And uh, I learned a little bit of something today, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Excellent. Well, come visit and you'll learn even more. Absolutely. And if you would like to learn more about the immersive ex exhibit, you can head to calacademy.org. And we'll have a link also on our site at liveinthebay.tv.